and how far you go. And that's why right today, in a few minutes, I'll be talking to us on the different types of investment opportunity that teachers can do to help them plan for retirement. The word investment means different things to different people. To some persons, when they hear the word investment, what comes to their mind is Ponzi. A place whereby they put in 10,000 naira, they put in 100,000 naira, and they keep getting maybe times two of that money every month. To some persons, that is investment. Why to some persons, investment means taking their money to Bet Niger to go and play Bet Niger, hoping that they're going to get um, or win the bet and make profits from such investment. So investment means a lot of things to a lot of persons. But today I'm not just going to be talking about what investment is because of our time. I want to share with us those three types of investment that you need to know about so that it will help us as teachers as we journey along this um, road of being a teacher and planning for retirement. You need to have this understanding so that you're not going to fall counts of a lot of internet frauds that are happening in this generation. The first type of investment is called the low-risk investment. The low risk investment is a type of investment that does not require uh, a lot of money, but you do not also have uh, the privilege to make a lot of profit from your investment because the most important thing is that your investment is secure. The second type of investment is called the medium risk investment. The medium risk investment is also another good investment that teachers can actually put in their money into. Now, the real rate investment guarantees your capital, but the profit you get from investing in the medium rate investment is not much, but your capital is also secure. Then we also have the high risk investment. On the high risk investment is where you make a whole lot of money from your investment, but the risk of also losing your money is also much. So there are these three types of investment categories that you need to know about as you turn into becoming uh, a successful teacher. But here is the thing, and why I'm here today. We have come to understand that a lot of people invest in things they don't know about. And because of that, if I begin to ask some of us here, your experiences with some investment, you begin to tell me that different types of things you are putting your money and your thoughts to money. Two of us. Are we together? Because some of us do not really understand that as an investment, we are not supposed to put in our money at all. See, that is what is called aim income. A income is the money you get from in exchanging your time. For example, at the end of the month, they give you 30,000 euros, they give you 100,000 euros. That money you collect at the end of the month is called A income. Why? Because you work for 30 days before you got that money. Let's say, for example, you are also into fashion design. If somebody brings a clothes to you to sew, and by the time you finish sewing the clothes, the person pays you the money. That money is called A income. Because you exchange your time for it. Now, the challenge with most people is that we try to pack away with our end income ignorantly because we don't know that there are some investment we need to put in our money. There are some persons who stand by the other side of the fence waiting to get money from us. By the time you sweat and make money, they will just tell you, ah, so something is assist, they come and put in your money, you get this one month. And because you want to get more money, you put in your money, and before you know it, it becomes story. And that is why investment training is very, very important. We do not have the privilege to be taught about money, financial literacy, investment in school. And that is why my organization has taken it upon ourselves to teach people financial literacy and investment so that people will not force hands to financial frauds going on all around us. In 2014, my organization made over 14 million naira. And on the 1st of January 2015, my company were actually looking for 1,000 Naira. Not because it was on the weekend and we did not have access to the ATM or to bank, or not because there was no network and we could not make transfer, but because we did not have anything home and abroad we were practically proved. When somebody tells you that home and abroad is proved, what that person means is that at home and bank account in his pocket, he doesn't have anything. Zero balance, thank you. So home and abroad, we were broke. And then, in 2015, towards the end of the year, we had the privilege, I had the privilege to be invited at the state house, at our state government house, to talk to some of their executives there. And because of the training, during the break session, a woman walked up to me and said, 
that she wants to discuss something with me that she currently earns about 1.5 million naira every month. But at the moment, she realized that before the end of the month, she's always broke. She's always broke, looking for money. And the following year, we had the privilege to also speak with MTN management team. And the lady also said that she makes about 250,000 naira every month as salary. But at the end of the month, she's always looking for money. And then we realized from what happened to, my, to us and some of the stories we hear from people um, that we, when we are having training, we come to understand that it is not how much you make that counts. It is what you do with what you make that actually makes you financially free. We have seen a lot of people retire and they go back to square one looking for money. Struggling. I know you would have seen some of your colleagues that have retired. The kind of life they are living in, I know you have, some of you are not, you don't wish for such life. And that's why we feel it is very important for us to begin to talk about financial So I think if we look that there is investment planning and at the same time there is need to start planning for retirement. Did you know that at the age of 25, if you have been investing 20,000 naira into a particular share, by the time you have retired, you would have made with 10,000 with 10% interest on such investment. By the time you retire, you would have about 210 million naira sitting in your bank account at the age of 25. If you start investing at the age of 25, 20,000 naira every month. By the time you retire, you will have about 210,000, 210 million naira sitting in your account. Now, I want you to look at some of your colleagues that retired. How many of them were able to retire with 100 million in their bank account? Even 50 million, how many of them? Now, if you start at the age of 35, by the time you retire, you will have close to about 80 million naira in your bank account. But the point is that some of us are over 35, but we can still start. We can still start. Now, one of the best and sweet investment that we tell people to put in their money is shares, investing in shares. But the truth of the matter is that some persons have gotten very bitter experience with shares. I know some of you will know people who have bought shares and never got anything out of it. Now, I want you to do something when you get back to these people, and if credit, they are also one of those persons. Ask them how many of these persons that bought shares actually attended the training on shares before they put in their money. How many of them read the book about shares before putting in their money into shares? So you realize that people putting their money into things they don't know about and they expect it to work. It's just like somebody saying he wants to become a doctor without going to a medical school. Is that possible? So majority of people want to be financially free without having a day to spend a day to learn about finance or financial literacy or investment. That is the challenge with our generation. So share is one of the best kind of investment that you can start, but you need to know how to. Now, majority of those people that did shares and feel, if you ask them, some of them put in their money into shares because their colleague bought shares. And their colleague told them that, see, oh, these shares, I just bought shares of uh, MTN, 10,000 units. They say, ah, rich, I will go and buy. And they also went to go and buy because their friend bought. Not because they understand what the shares are all about, but they bought. Some persons bought shares of MTN, uh, it is a lot. Bureau saying that is a wrong way of investment. Why? Because one government policy can affect all of your investment because you are investing in the same sector, which is the telecom sector. Some persons invest in First Bank, Zenith Bank, Duty uh, um, Bank, and all of that. One policy from the government will destroy your investment because why you are investing in the same sector, which is the banking sector. So there, is, there are ways to do these things, and there are some shares you don't need to buy at all. That's some investment you don't need to buy at all. So the point is, my own goal as an individual is that by the time I'm age 40, I want to retire looking for money. And how do I want to do that? I want my dividends to be able to take care of me. There are different types of shares. There is what they call the dividend stock and there's what they call the growth stock. That is dividend shares and growth shares. Now I invest more in dividend shares. And dividend shares, you get dividends on your investment. They pay you dividends on the numbers of shares that you have. Some pays every three months, some pays once in a year. But they pay you for the rest of your life. But the point is, because of time, we will not have time to talk much about 
how they actually tap into the, the wealth of investing in shares because of time. And there are local shares, there are Nigerian shares, and there are foreign shares, like investing in Amazon, um, Facebook shares, Google, YouTube, all these powerful companies. You invest in them in Nera, and by the time they are paying you your business, they are paying you dollars, which is going to be a good money. Okay, but the level of the way the Nera is going, we also advise people to put some of their wealth in the dollar assets. So, because of time, we are going to be having a two days program dedicated for teachers on investment, financial literacy and investment. And we want to be part of that investment program, where we are going to have a lot of time we deal with some of these things that have to be shared. Tell you how to go about it using your smartphone. This is the internet page, you have to learn how to use From your phone, you can invest. You don't need to go to the bank or you need to call people out. You can already sell your shares just on the table of the phone. You sell your shares and only get into your bank account. You don't need anybody. And not just to tell you that come and invest in one company or come and invest in my company or anything. No, I am here to teach you. We are having to teach you how to do it the right way. Because most of the time, we discover that people are, are going to tell them to come and invest in something at the end of the day. They ended up, they ended up not making any profit. But it's time that we need to learn how to. And that's what this two days training is going to be about. How to do it the right way. So at the comfort of the home, you can make the decision of the type of shares you want to have. Invest in it and watch it grow. And at the same time, some of us have bought shares and have not gotten anything from it. I like to be very much. I would like to also, this thing brings to them, we also talk about how you can trade your own things and also make money back to those shares very easily.